The future of elections is up for debate at the Supreme Court today. It started as a dispute over gerrymandering, but now this case will decide who has the power to run elections. Washington correspondent Hannah Brand explains how the high court's decision could impact your vote. The scene outside of the Supreme Court looks like a celebration. But these people say they're ready for a fight. Americans here who are fed up with uh, Republican legislatures trying to hijack the Constitution, trying to ignore the, ignoring the will of the voters. Wednesday's Supreme Court case could determine whether state lawmakers have sole power over the elections process. Right now, state courts can weigh in, but this case could change that. What it would do is allow state legislators to change the outcome of elections. It would make them um, kind of the supreme powers. Advocates here say state court involvement is crucial to ensuring fair elections. But North Carolina Republicans are arguing the U.S. Constitution gives state legislatures alone control over the elections process. At the end of the day, it shouldn't be up to, to judges or bureaucrats. It should be up to the people through their elected representatives in the legislature. And the justices on the court seem split. This is a proposal that gets rid of the normal checks and balances on the way big <coughs> governmental decisions are made. Do you think that it furthers democracy to transfer the political controversy about districting from the legislature to elected Supreme Courts. Some argue siding with the state's Republicans will weaken the voice of voters by allowing for things like choosing voting districts that favor one party or making it harder for people to cast a ballot. This would change elections and not for the better, so people need to be paying attention. A ruling in this case isn't expected until the summer. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brand.